So let's say you want to create a daily status page in Notion that every single day pulls the tasks, the habits, journaling, whatever you have in your inbox so you can track it through the day. This page will be created automatically every single day. But to go through this page and relate it directly to all the things you have in your inbox will be a chaos. So how we can do that automatically? Today I will explain the concept of linking which allow you to automatically relate a database in an indirect way. And to explain this, let's dive into my Notion Finance Brain template. And let me show you what we are going to do. Right now, every expense page that I have, I need to relate it directly to the month page. For example, this one, I need to relate it to December uh, 2025. If I went to the December 2025 page, I can see it here. And this here is just a roll up. So how we can automatically, once we create the expense page, it will be show up in this current month, but also we can keep the record of previous months. We need a page called profile or just like I said before, link. In our case, the LinkedIn page is the finance profile. So after we create the LinkedIn page, make sure that you automatically relate every uh, page to the finance profile. Then we need also to do that the same in the templates of the month. So if we click on edit templates, it's already related to the finance profile. And now let me show you how we are going to use the beautiful Notion functions to pull the expenses that's related to this month. So. First of all, we are going to access the finance profile. To access the properties inside it, we are going to add first, right? And then we will add expenses. Now what we want is to filter it to only pull the expenses that has the same date, our month page. Let's add format date, then current, then uh, the date, month, and then the year. That's it. Then let's check if it's equal, our format date, so created time, which is the created time of our month. Now we want to calculate the, how much we spent in all this month expenses. So what we're going to do, map, then current, and then um, the spend, and then add whatever currency you are using. So now we have the total expenses of this month.